Anyone who's driven around the valley knows that our roads are dangerous, and you've seen time and time again on the news horrific car accidents where people have been killed because someone ran a red light. Here to tell us more about the Red Means Stop Traffic Safety Alliance is Frank Hines. Frank, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Tell us what the mission of your organization really is. The mission is basically to educate the motoring public about the serious consequences of red light running, uh, how important it is to stop when the light changes from yellow to, to, to red. And uh, when you don't, the, this is an example behind me of what happens and uh, the serious injuries and fatalities that occur because people don't stop. And actually in Arizona, we have one of the worst records when it comes to one of, running red lights. One of the light. worst. About 10 years ago, we were the worst in the nation. It's gotten a little better, but we're still bad. Yeah, I know this has personally affected you. Tell me a little bit about your story and take me back to 1997. Well, in 1997, my daughter, Jennifer, was a senior in high school. She was leaving school to go for lunch with some friends, mm -hmm. and uh, they were T-boned in the intersection right in front of the high school. And um, she was airlifted to St. Joe's, and she died six days later uh, from a brain injury. Yeah, I'm very sorry about that, first of all. I know that for you, this has become a passionate cause. What do you want people to really know about all of this? Well, there's a lot of things to know, but, but really and truly what we're about is trying to educate the public about the serious consequences of red light running. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, people think ah, it happens to somebody else, it's not going to happen to me, I'm in a hurry, I'll, you know, I'll, I, I don't want to wait for that light. But they don't realize the consequences of their actions and unfortunately hundreds of people die every year because people run red lights yeah. and in addition to that there are thousands and thousands more who are seriously injured due to brain injuries. Now you can look at this car here and you can see if the passenger was sitting here your head goes the direction the of the crash yeah. and it, you hit your head right here on the on the steel. And we see it time and time again. This is National Stop on Red Week. Lots of activities in the valley. Tell me about some. Well, there's there's a few. We, we wish there were more. We try to get more uh, businesses uh, um, like Lord. Channel 15 involved. Uh, uh, but we have uh, this mobile display going out to some of the high schools and uh, we're still working on trying to get some more sites. So yeah. if anybody's interested in having this display out you know, in their area for, for a few hours or the day, we're happy to do it. Just to create that awareness. Just to create the awareness yeah. to remind people that this is this is the end result of yeah. somebody who didn't stop. Frank, what do you want to tell people um, before we wrap up here? What's important for parents especially to know as kids head back to school? Well, um, you know, there's two sides to the red light running issue. One is if you're the innocent driver and you're hit by a red light runner, what can you do to protect yourself? And mm -hmm. that's, you know, but when the light changes to green, don't automatically assume it's okay to go. Look both Look ways. Look both ways, hesitate a second or two before you go. Mm -hmm. Red means stop, make sure you do it. Frank, thanks so much for being with us, we appreciate it. Thank you. All right. It's a good guy. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right.